My mother, who would come here for the summers and bring me and my brother, every summer of our childhood we were here. And she was a beautician, I would guess you would call her. In Boston, she had a beautician shop with a French friend. And for the summers, she had private customers, like Mrs. Gibson. And Mrs. Gibson discovered that I was talented to the extent that she said that I must come and, and paint in her garden. And she had a wonderful set of Japanese books of hand-painted flowers. That's very important in my career because she said, let Lois come over and paint in my garden, which was beautiful. And then she can borrow these books. That was later because I was on a scholarship at the Designers Art School in Boston. And I used those flowers for my Cretan designs. And those Cretan designs were printed, sold and printed and sold all over the country and as far as California and uh, it was all going back to Mrs. Gibson who lived uh, in Vineyard Haven. That was when I discovered that my name was never uh, used. That is, the Cretans had names like Thisbe, Grogret, all sorts of names, but you never saw Lois Jones. And that was when I decided that uh, if I want to go down in history as an artist, I have to paint. And I did my first painting, which was the Ascent of Ethiopia, which was really due to Aaron Douglas, a black artist in Harlem, who introduced the importance of Africa in art and of black life.